Hello, this is intentionally a completely unedited recording of uh, using Snagit uh, to do a screencast, um, primarily with Google Slides. So I've just launched the screencast and I've moved the Snagit um, menu item notification in the lower right corner out of the way and then I go back into my slides which was the only tab open full screen. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through screencasting with Chrome. This works equally well on a Chromebook as it does on a PC or a Mac. Um, one of the critical things we've learned uh, is that having more RAM as you can imagine with video is very helpful. So Chromebooks with four gigabytes of RAM and Intel chips tend to perform better. Likewise, Macs and PCs with four gigabytes of RAM or greater tend to perform better. So we're going to talk about screencasting with Chrome across platforms. The specific tool we're going to discuss here is Snagit by TechSmith. First, I'm going to give you an overview and then I'll demo Snagit for you. Um, in School District 21, we have Snagit deployed throughout the organization to students and to staff. Um, there's nothing that users need to do to get Snagit. It's there already. So we'll begin with our overview. We've deployed both a Chrome app and an extension. The extension, as you can see from the picture at the bottom of the screen, is near the top of your Chrome browser in the upper right corner to the right of the Omnibar. When you want to take a still image or start a screencast, you begin by simply clicking the extension button, the little white S on the blue background there in the upper right corner. And when you do that, the menu of options will appear. So that is step number one, very easy to do. We've seen both students and staff members uh, have a great deal of success with it. For taking still images, again, you start by clicking the extension, and then you're going to focus on this part of the menu options. Uh, to get your still image. There are three kinds of still images you can take. You can take a region of the screen, which is what I typically use. You can take the entire visible screen, uh, which will be like the simple old Windows print screen command, or you can even get a full scrolling website beyond what's visible, uh, the wholeness of the scrolling. And on most websites that will work really, really well. Um, frankly, I've only used that once and it was very specifically to get a very long web website entirely pictured in a slide for a school board presentation. Your images will go into your image library. This is a picture of the app. This is actually the uh, TechSmith Snagit Chrome app and this is where you can see all of your stuff. As you'll see a few minutes later, this also appears in a folder that TechSmith automatically creates in your Google Drive called TechSmith. You can edit images. You'll have this ability right after you've taken the image or by going back into your library and clicking on the image to open it in Snagit library. Um, once you're in the image editor, you've got options on the left side to annotate the image with arrows, boxes, circles, or text, and you can choose different colors. You can also rename the image here. Screencasting works similarly. To launch a screencast, it's very simple, and this is what you didn't see me do right before starting this screencast. You simply begin by clicking on this Snagit um, uh, extension, and then you'll focus in on the bottom portion of the menu of options below the video camera. And when you do that, a dialog box will pop up asking you if you want to cast your entire display, which is what I typically choose, or just one particular element within it like a particular uh, wet window of your Chrome web page. Then again, as I mentioned a few moments ago, in addition to the Snagit app where you can see your full library, you have a folder inside your drive that's automatically named TechSmith, all one word, and you can see all of your images here. And in seeing those images, you can do any sharing options that you can do anywhere else in Google Drive. Makes it a wonderful way to share out your videos or your images. Additionally, you can obviously take these images from your drive, like any anything in your Google Drive, and add them to an email or a Google Doc or a Google Slide uh, and share them out that way. So now we're going to give you a little demo of screencasting with Chrome. Um, so to do that, I'm going to escape out of the slides here and um, just show you again what it would be like to launch this. 
Um, it's very, very simple. So one thing I want to highlight is right now I'm screencasting and we see this little icon here between the clock to the right of my clock and to the left of my Wi-Fi symbol in the lower right corner of my screen. This means I'm actually screencasting. When I'm done, I will click on this and then right here I will click stop. But to launch the screencast, I'll simply click on the Snagit extension. I would choose screen having my screen already prepared with what I want on. And then at this point, the dialog box would pop up and it, it won't work right now because I'm in the middle of a screencast, but the dialog box would pop up asking me to choose what I want to screencast. I would say the entire display and then I'm off and running. So it is very simple. Taking images is just as simple. I would choose any of these three options, select it, and then take my image. So it, it's really just a couple clicks to launch a screencast or take an image uh, using the extension up here in the upper right corner. Hope this helped you get a handle on what you can do with Snagit and how to do it. There's a lot more great resources been put out there by other people. Um, and we're really, excited, we're really excited about seeing student and teacher products that are created uh, with this tool in our Google Drives. Thanks.